What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the conservative wolf, right here. All in your grill, all in your face. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> as always, thanks, guys. I love y'all and appreciate y'all very much. Sorry about the thumb all in the face right there. Um, uh, as you see, I'm about to be out and about a little bit, but not letting that stop me from coming at you live. Well, almost live. I'm alive, so you might as well say live. Um, but uh, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, as always. And uh, I love y'all's opinions. I love having the dialogue, man. It, it's, it's really frosty. It's great. Um, this is a daily dose. Probably about to be the quickest one I've ever done. Uh, I know y'all probably have heard by now about Lil Wayne. For those of you don't, who don't know who Lil Wayne is, Lil Wayne is like one of the, he's a young rapper, but he's he's been around a long time. Uh, Google Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is like, um, uh, like my boy B. Tatum was talking about, like, you know, you guys hear people use the term bling. Uh, you know, Lil Wayne came out with a song over some years back uh, about that bling bling. So when people talk about bling, you know, that, that, that phrase was coined by Lil Wayne. Uh, but Lil Wayne is different. He's a different kind of rapper. The guy is, he's a very intelligent guy, and he's black. And his experiences on race uh, in this country, uh, it's unique perspective. And um, uh, I'm going to try my best um, at a later time to... Uh, put together some clips for you guys and uh, do a little bit more of a video about Lil Wayne and some of his interviews and some of his unique experiences on race. Uh, he's a very intelligent guy and of course uh, he has endorsed President Trump and of course you guys know how it goes. You black and you're a celebrity and you endorse President Trump. You already know black folks got to call you all kind of names and you all kind of sell out some coons and Uncle Toms and this, that, and the third. But yet those are the same people talking about systemic racism and oppression. But yet they attack someone else black who don't think the way they do. Now go figure that out, right? So we're not going to even try. This is a Daily Dose video. In order for us to figure that out, this would be a way, way longer video. But anyways, guys, Lil Wayne officially endorsed President Trump. Um, you know, and that's a good thing. I think uh, if we can get President Trump in there another four years, I think you'll see a lot of, there'll be a lot of changes. A lot of, a lot more black people will start waking up. Um, be the, uh, maybe, be the end of the uh, swamp. Uh, this uh, crazy uh, media with their BS. Um, big tech. Vote for me. And, um, 2024, vote for me. You ain't running for no president in no 2024. Anyway, uh, this is a Daily Dose video, guys. Vote for me. 2024, I'm running. Kamala Harris has nothing on me. I'm that bad. Yeah, you shouldn't want to have nothing related to no damn Kamala Harris. I would think not. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you know, I think I think some people want their own YouTube channel because <laughs> cause, you know they gotta they gotta do their little cameos on my videos, you know. So I think people want their own YouTube channels, but I believe. Nah, cause people wouldn't like me. I'm worse than your boys. <laughs> yeah, you got a real smart mouth. Yeah, they, they already be trying to, you know, that's a full-time job. But anyways, guys, this has been a Daily Dose video. I love y'all. Y'all my conservative patriot family. Watch out for each other. Let's take care of each other. And remember, you are not a victim. You are victors. Always. And I'll yell at you later. And I said, you know, I could catch this thing, and if I knew what you